Hello and welcome to Buenos Aires, Argentina. Uh, it's a lovely hot day here uh, and I'm with my friend Eric who you might recognize from uh, about 20 frames of the video where I was in Italy. And what's going to happen today is Eric is calling me an Uber somewhere in the city and I have to find my way back. The rules for finding my way back are fairly similar to the rules in the stranding myself in London on a line bike video. My phone must be in airplane mode. Moving away from the London Eye isn't relevant to this video as the Uber will be taking me to whatever destination Eric set. No looking at maps, however, because I don't know the Buenos Aires Subte as well as I know the London Underground, I'm amending the no maps rule to allow for looking at the train maps and stations. Lastly, just like before, I'm allowed one trip on the train, but the trip is limited to only one line. So that's, that's what we're doing today. Uh, we're going to call the Uber from here. I believe behind me is the intersection of Venezuela and Chacabuco. Something. Chacabuco is like there, yeah, but nearby. Okay. Um, so we're in the San Telmo area right now. I'll put on the map where I need to, uh, or I'll put on the map where we are, uh, and this will be where I'm trying to get back to. Um, so I guess we'll go ahead and call the Uber. Or yeah. you'll call the Uber from yeah. my phone. And you'll have a bunch of fun. Yay, can't <laughs> wait. <laughs> what were you just saying? Oh, that this is going to be the most fun day of your uh, Argentina experience, obviously. Can't wait. I just find it really funny that like this, this place is named this in, in the same spot that I wanted to send you. It's really funny. I really hope that like when you get there, it's just like they drop you off right in front of it. You're going to an, a location that you would not expect to find in Buenos Aires. Okay, interesting. Yeah. What does that mean? You're, uh, it's something you'd be more familiar with uh, uh, back in the US. Oh, thanks. Yeah. I'm, I'm so excited to travel to a different continent and get an American experience. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, that's why I picked it. That's a white Persia. Yeah, that's it. All right. I what? All right. I'll see you in a few hours. Hola, cómo estás? Palermo, no, bro. Ah, sí. The Uber had taken me from the bench in San Telmo across the city to the Kansas Grill and Bar in Palermo which was actually only 600 meters from the Lisandro de la Torre train station. However, I was unaware of that at the time. That was not embarrassing at all. I, I got called a gringo by the, uh, the Uber driver for booking an Uber to a restaurant called Kansas in Buenos Aires. And I couldn't explain to him, I don't know enough Spanish to explain to him that I don't know where I'm going. I said, uh, I said something along the lines of, uh, yo no sé que donde, but there's, uh, I, I, I can't, I don't know how to say, oh, my friend sent me here. I don't know what's happening because we got to a little further down the street coming in and he starts saying, oh, Kansas, Kansas. And I'm like, oh no. In my head, I was thinking maybe he sent me to like the one baseball field in Argentina or the American embassy or just, there were so many thoughts going through my brain. That, that could have been a lot worse, but that was still very embarrassing. <laughs> um, but Eric did say when, when I pitched the idea to him and I was kind of creating the parameters of, you know, what's fair for this. Uh, he was initially thinking to send me to some town in the middle of nowhere and I had to say like, no, I want to come back. I, I want to make it back in the same day. Please don't send me to the middle of nowhere. Um, so it could have been a lot worse. And I guess now I just need to figure out where a subway station is. I think that's my priority now is to get get on a train uh, because the drive out here took 
25 minutes, half an hour. Walking that whole thing back is gonna be awful. And now that I'm thinking about it, I didn't see a subway station anywhere along this road on the way in. Oh man, I think, so I'm in Palermo, I know that because uh, you might have heard on the recording, I got in the cab and the guy said Palermo. I said, oh, see. Um, I don't think there are, I know, I think it's just one line that goes through Palermo. So I need to find the street that that's on. I think that's south of here, because this is one of the main roads sort of along the Rio de Pata, I think. I think it is. So, okay, I'll head south. There's a street over here that I'll try to head down, or... Um, actually, yeah, I'll shoot for that one, because it is in the shade. I need to figure out how to get across the street. Um, to start working my way into Palermo, find a subway station. All right, well, I have a plan. Oh, and the behind me, that floodlight. I don't know if you can see it, but that's the uh, the hippodrome in Buenos Aires. Yeah. Okay. See ya. Okay. Across the street, I'm in the shady area now, and I'm thinking, with that being the hippodrome behind me. There's likely a subway stop near here. Uh, at least if I were planning a city and I had a big landmark like that, I would put a subway stop near it. So hopefully I'm correct in assuming that. My strategy at the moment is just gravitating toward wherever looks the busiest. Uh, and just continuing to follow that. Oh, here we go, what's this? Uh, Centro, is it good job? Oh, this looks like a big school. Maybe this big school has a subway station. Um, yeah, okay, that's the point. Just keep finding bigger places. The bigger the place, the more likely it is to have a subway stop. Just keep rolling with this. Okay, so found the train, complete chance there. That looks more like the regional rail though. Um, either way, I feel like if I follow it, I will at least be at a train station. And the regional rail also goes into the center of Buenos Aires, just like the subway does. So I think I'm fine either way. I just like to get into the center of the city on a train and this follow, following this track right here seems to be my best bet at the moment. Though with it being regional rail, I'm not sure what the distance is between different stations. This could go on for miles before it reaches an actual station. Uh, we'll see. If this doesn't seem like it will lead to anything soon, then I'll just turn back and continue with my previous strategy. We're good, I found a station. Hopefully it goes somewhere useful. Yeah, it says Trenos Argentinos on it which I'm assuming is the name of the regional rail, national rail, whatever, not the subway. So this will be fun. Okay, so looking at the train map in there, it looks like if I wanna get a train at that station, it's going to put me a, a little more into the city, but not enough that it's worth taking the train, but um, I'll put the map on the screen here. So I was at Tres de Febrero uh, station. If I go back the way I came, I'll reach the one 
with the name that I don't remember already, um, which is on the green line, which goes pretty much into the center of Buenos Aires. So that would be a lot more advantageous to take. So I'm just following the train tracks again. Uh, the train runs up there. Uh, just heading back the way I came, looking for the station that's on the green line that this train also goes through. So one of the reasons I didn't follow it the way I'm currently going to begin with is because the road no longer follows alongside the train tracks. Uh, the other way seems more of a guarantee. So I just need to hope I don't get lost or lose the train tracks at some point. Just gotta be good about it. train and there's the subway okay slight problem you can only get the subway cards in the little shops uh, nearby but I know Eric had this problem the other day and the shops nearby didn't have cards yeah I didn't plan to be stranded there I mean you made your way back off pure luck. Yeah, well, yeah, pure luck. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. My 1% phone <laughs> and the, the angel metro lady that let me go in. So, fingers crossed. Ooh. Okay, that was actually super easy. Um, I don't know if I have to pay again when I get in there though, or when I get out. Um, uh, find out as I go, I guess. I was now on the Subte D line, which terminates at Cathedral, right in the heart of the city and only 750 meters from my starting point at the bench in San Telmo. Okay, I rode the green line from the station that I'm going to put right there, because I don't remember the name of it, uh, all the way to Cathedral, which is right in the center of Buenos Aires. And my plan was honestly just, I didn't know exactly where the station was, uh, the Cathedral station was. So I was just hoping I'd get out and recognize the area. Uh, and I do, it's right across the street from uh, La Casa Rosada, uh, which you'll see in a second but I, I know the way back from here completely. So, should be done in a few minutes. As I just mentioned, there is La Casa Rosada, uh, the president's house. Alright, one hour and 56 minutes later, I made it back to the bench I started at. And that's it for this video. Thank you as always for watching.